Hello, this is a webinar from the Technology Department. The topic of this webinar is accessing and setting up your Texas Gradebook account for teachers. From the ECISD website, please go to the Resource Logins page. Um, from here you'll find a link to Texas Gradebook. We click on Resource Logins, and then under the G's, I have a link to Texas Gradebook. At the beginning of every year, you will have to set up a new user account for Texas Gradebook. This is part of the security policies for Texas Gradebook. So your first step will be to access this section of the screen where it says New User on the right side, and you'll click the link that you find there. The staff ID that you enter here must be nine digits. If your employee ID is a four-digit employee ID, you will enter five leading zeros before your employee ID. If your employee ID is five digits, then you will enter four leading zeros before your employee ID. The total digits entered here again should be nine digits. You'll enter your last name exactly as it appears um, in the uh, district records. And you'll enter your first initial. This should be your official first name as it appears in school records. You'll then create your user ID after clicking Next. Your user ID should be your initials followed by the shortened version of your employee ID. In other words, your initials followed by your employee ID with no leading zeros. You'll then enter your password. Your password must be between six and nine characters. It must include three of the four character types, capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. For example, if I were to use ECISD with a capital E at the beginning, followed by the numbers 1, 2, 3, I would have an eight-digit password that would meet these criteria. I must type this password in the password and confirm password boxes. I then choose a PIN. The PIN will be used frequently when I'm working within Texas Gradebook in order to save pages and to commit grades. So the PIN should be a four-digit number and please make it one that you'll be able to remember. I then click Next at the bottom of this page. Again, I'm entering the user ID, password, and PIN. And I click Next. I'll then choose three hint questions. These will be used for resetting my password should the need arise. I'll choose the questions and enter the answers for each of the questions here. Keep in mind that the answers that you enter are case sensitive. If I put in a capital letter when setting up my answers, then I must enter that same capital letter when recovering my password. After I've entered the three questions and answers, I'll click Next at the bottom right. This should lead me to a success screen where I click Finish. I'll then be taken into the gradebook. You'll notice at the top right side there is a question mark notating the help session, section of Texas Gradebook. Just above that you'll find a logout button. Be sure that after using Texas Gradebook you log out 
so that your grades and attendance information are not accessible by others. In order to update your user profile, you would use the Update Profile link from Settings. You must enter your current password in order to change anything, but this is the screen that will allow you to change your password or your PIN or to enter your phone number or to update your security questions. On this screen, but not shown in this screenshot, you'll also find a checkbox that says Use Independent Scroll Bars. If you uncheck this box and then click Next, you will remove the small scroll bar that appears on your assignment grade screen, um, which is somewhat of an inconvenience for many of our users. When I'm done making changes, ensuring that I have entered my current password, I click Next. And again, if I'm going to update my security questions, this is the screen I would see next. Once I'm done updating, again, I click Next. For a registered user, when you attempt to log in, this is the screen you'll see. You can then enter your user ID and password here, just as you've set them up. Three unsuccessful attempts to log on will lock you out of the system, and your campus PEMS clerk or registrar or an administrator on your campus would have to put you in reset mode before you would be able to use the forgot your password section in order to reset your password.